now be Mosur for being the guest speaker during the 15th commencement exercises of Philippine International School, Qatar, with the theme, Saktong Buhay sa Dekalidad de Edukasyon Pinanday. Given this 28th day of March 2015 at Qatar National Convention Center, Doha, State of Qatar, signed Luisa K. Mendoza, Principal. Let me call on our Prefect of Discipline, Mr. Jason A. Eas, for the message from the Secretary of Education, Brother Armin A. Luistro. To our honorable guest, Honorable Gunaranao Bimusor, sir, our head of the Administration and Finance, Ms. Vila Inguilio, our principal, Madam Luisa K. Mendoza, elementary level head, Ms. Florida Di Bakel, High school level head, Ms. Bernadette T. Makatangay, members of the administration, faculty and staff, graduates, parents, friends, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to read to you the 2015 graduation message of Brother Armin Luistro, the Secretary of the Department of Education. Congratulations to our dear graduates. My appreciation goes out to the teachers, school administrators, staff, and parents who have supported and walked with our graduates to reach this milestone. Today is a testament to your collective efforts, the fruit of your hard work and perseverance. Once again, you have proven that with competence, compassion, and a zeal for excellence, you can accomplish anything. Dear graduates, as you turn a new leaf towards the achievement of your dreams, bear in mind the values and lessons you have learned throughout your stay in school. Your education has given you the skills to move forward, to pursue your purpose, and actualize your dreams. Your education continues to cement your foundations to become a better Filipino, one with a keen sense of both, both self and community and one who is mindful of diversity that is grounded on acceptance, tolerance, and peace. This year's graduation theme, Saktong Buhay sa Dikalidad na Edukasyong Pinanday, calls to mind the importance of education as we build the foundations of our dreams. Let this be a reminder of the stories of our fallen and living heroes, soldiers and teachers alike who persevered in their education to secure a decent life for their families. It impresses upon us the power of education in unlocking doors of opportunities and in enabling us to pave the path to a dignified and productive life, a life that is lived not only for ourselves, but also for others. As you forge ahead, you will experience moments of victories and defeats. Let your triumphs be an inspiration for other people. Let your losses serve as your motivation to strive for excellence. Let all these collective experiences inspire hope in us to seek greater heights and aspire for a higher purpose. Throughout it all, always be mindful of the people who help you along the way and pay it forward to others who will need your help too. For us in the schools, May this theme guide us all as we go forth and realize our mission to provide Filipino learners a quality education that will empower them to attain their life goals. Mabuhay kayo. Brother Armin El Luistro, Secretary, Department of Education. We've come now to another awaited moment, the awarding of medals to the honor pupils and awardees. Let us take this opportunity as we ask our dear parents to be with their children as they receive their academic and special award to make this occasion more meaningful. Let me call on our guest speaker, Honorable Gunaranao B. Masur, our beloved principal, Ms. Luisa K. Mendoza, and our dearest level head, Ms. Florida Di Bakel, to give the medals to the honor pupils of this year's graduating class. And let me also call on Ms. Vivian J. Mercado to present the awardees.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is indeed a privilege to present to you the awardees for this school year 2014-2015. Allow me to begin with the non-academic awards for the best in department from grade six, Franchum. Alexandra May V. Madriaga. From grade six, Tantalu. Elijah Mariel D. Tatlanghari. From Grade 6, Thalium, Janille Ann M. Agustin. From Grade 6, Thorium, Jamaica Hyacinth A. Lat. From Grade 6, Thorium, Sara Miguel P. Garcia. From grade 6, team, Jana Elaine B. Hermosa. From grade 6, Titanium, Samantha Isabel N. Papun and Andrea Nadine A. Panganiban. From grade 6, Tangston, Tiffany Grace M. Renata. Let's now move onward to the best in co-curricular activities. Elijah Marielle D. Tatlonghari. Elijah Marielle D. Tatlonghari is also the Visual Artist of the Year. And at the same time, a recipient of the Leadership Award for being the President of the Student Body, the Supreme Pupil Government. Performing Artist of the Year, Jewel Dorothy M. Rivera. Jewel Dorothy M. Rivera is also the recipient of the Service Award for being one of the officers of the Supreme Court Government.
for the other service awardees, Janil and M. Agustin. Katrina M. Castro Verde. Shen Jade D14 And another recipient of the service award is Kelly Lavine S. Guarin. to the Outstanding Boy Scout, Ian Joseph M. Reyes. Let's now move onward to the Academic Discipline Awards. For the best in English, Elijah Mariel D. Tatlonghari. Elijah Mariel D. Tatlanghari is also the best in science, the best in mathematics, the best in Filipino, and the best in civics. Now for the most awaited moment for the academic awards. For the 8th honorable mention, Christine May M. Garcia. Seventh honorable mention, Jana Elaine B. Hermoso. Honorable mention, Hayden Christensen B. Twaza. Fifth honorable mention, Jasmine S. Palasi. Honorable mention, Jamaica Hyacinth A. Lat. Third honorable mention, Alexandra May V. Madreaga. Second honorable mention, Janil and M. Agustin. First honorable. 
honorable mention, Sara Miguel P. Garcia. Salutatorian, Kelly Lavigne S. Iguari. And for this school year's valedictorian, let's welcome Elijah Marielle D. Tatlonghari. Awardees, another round of applause. Congratulations again to all our awardees. Another round of applause, please. And now, let us listen to the pupil whose hard work paved the way of becoming this year's class valedictorian. Elijah Mariel D. Tatlonghari for her valid valedictory address. To our distinguished guest, Honorable Gunnar Nao B. Musur, our Head of Administration and Finance, Ms. Vila A. Ingilio, our beloved school principal, Ms. Luisa K. Mendoza, our department head, Ms. Florida D. Bachel, administrators, teachers, parents, Friends, classmates, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is indeed a memorable day to all of us graduates because we had reached another episode of our lives where we have to move from elementary to secondary level. Now we are about to start a new chapter in our journey, the junior high. I am very honored to stand before all of you today as the valedictorian of the class 2014 to 2015. It is my pleasure to receive various awards. Awards that I can truly say, part of our shared achievements. Yes, we all belong to an outstanding batch where everyone had showcased their talents, skills, and knowledge in different fields. Philippine International School, Qatar, as the cornerstone of our basic education, has given us the opportunity to shine and be equipped with par excellent knowledge. The challenge, however, that is being passed to us is to gain more achievements and be prepared for important roles that we have to play in our society someday. When we go back to our homeland, our beloved country, the Philippines. When I first stepped into the vicinity of our prestigious school, four years ago, I felt nervous. I was hesitant. I didn't know how I will get into and mingle with my newly found schoolmates, friends, and classmates. It was a totally different environment far from my old friends and classmates in the Philippines. But because I want to live with my father, who works abroad for quite a long time since I was born, I was determined to be I was determined to be with them and excel and continue to excel with school academics like I was in the Philippines. I had a strong will to show to my parents that I'm happy to be with them. Truly, I found a new home, a new set of friends and classmates. I started to regain my confidence because of a friendly school environment. It was not difficult for me to adapt to a new place with diverse culture. Aside from Qatar history, the school curricula are similar to the Philippines. The slight difference is the limited school time after our class lessons. For this, I learned to manage my studying time and I learned to set my priorities. I studied very hard and compete not only to the four corners of our classroom, in academics, visual arts, and sports. 
I did my best to be the best. Humble but with pride, I always carry with me the stature of my family's name and the torch of our beloved school. Individually and in team, I was always...